Australia insists Michael Clark will be fit to play in the Adelaide Test despite the skipper sitting out a training session this morning. Live now to Tom Wren and Tom, Tom when will we find out? Well, Kate, we should know a lot more by tomorrow when Clark will join the rest of his teammates at training. The fact he wasn't out there today, though, is certainly a concern. However, the squad insists he is 100% right and will lead the team out in a couple of days' time for that second Ashes test. It's going to be a brilliant atmosphere, Kate. It always is when Australia takes on England, particularly with the Barmy Army concerned. It's been two decades since they've been around and haven't they made some noise along the way? Celebrating its 20th birthday, the Barmy Army in full voice. We are the Army! The Barmy Army! Taken on a behind the scenes tour of the newly redeveloped Adelaide Oval, the English tourists predicted great things from the new drop in pitch. There should be a load of runs. I reckon that some of our guys will uh, enjoy that a lot. After watching their idols train, the Poms then tried to hone their own skills just like the great Don. Known for their antics, it's no surprise the Barmy Army supported the late night exploits of Kevin Peterson and Stuart Broad at an Adelaide nightclub in the early hours of yesterday morning. Four nights we talk for a test match, I think you'd have to be drinking a lot to, to really damage yourself. English teammates also supported the besieged duo. They're grown guys, they're grown men. Um, they've not broken any rules. Aussie spinner Nathan Lyon seemed none too phased. I couldn't care less what the English are doing. We're totally focused on our, our plans and for this test match coming up. Shane Watson, who found himself in trouble earlier this year for not doing his pre-game homework, saw the funny side. They must have got their homework in early, mustn't they? <laughs> Jack Baketa, Nine News.